Hello friends, today we will discuss about the log formula sheet which is basically a use for converting the absolute power to dBm and the dBm to the absolute power. Uh, so basically in optical fiber communication at one end of the fiber light is transmitted that is the Tx power and at the other end we receive the power that is Rx power which is automated power and very less as compared to the Tx power. We check the power level on meter and its value is calculated in dB. So here we will get the absolute power by the dB value as well. So in this log formula sheet we will be used basically for converting of the following. Here you can see in cap 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are the converting values we will discuss in this sheet. So first we will calculate the power in dBm when we have the power P in milliwatt. Suppose the transmitted power P in milliwatt, so we will get the power in dBm is 0 and you can calculate by this formula. That formula is already is in Excel sheet and you can download it from the below link. So when we change this power, suppose we have the Tx power 2 and we want to convert in the dBm value, then we will put 2 here and press enter. And you will get the power in dBm is 3.0102. So in the reverse order, when we have the power in dBm, suppose we have the power in dBm is equal to 3 and we want the absolute power, milliwatt power. So we'll use this formula, option 2. So we will just press here the value 3 and we'll get enter. And you can get the power P in milliwatt. So this is the sheet we can use it for converting the absolute power to the dBm and the dBm power to the absolute. So the third calculation is the calculate of power in dBm when P is in Watt. Suppose we have the power P in Watt and we want to calculate the dBm value for that power. So you just put the value of 1 here and you will get the power in dBm is equal to 30. So if the power P in Watt, the dBm value for that is 30 dBm. Suppose we have 2 Watt power. So we will put 2 and press enter. So this is 33 power. So 2 Watt power is equal to 33 dBm power. Suppose in case we have the dBm power and we just want to get the power in Watt. So we will use this formula. Suppose we have the 33 dBm power. So we use this formula. And we will get 33 and press enter. And we will get the power in Watt that is 1.99. With this formula, we can get this. Formula number 5, the relative alternation of a section of a fiber is expressed in dB. Calculation of P out by P in if we have dB. P out is equal to the power out that we get at the receiving end of the fiber. And P in is equal to the inserted power, transmitted power that we insert at the other end of the fiber. So P out by P in, we get the value is equal to 10k power dB by 10. Suppose at the receiving end, we get minus 10 dB power. <clears throat> so what will be the ratio of P out by P in? So we just put 10 and get enter and we will get the 0.1. So what is the observation by this? Suppose at one end fiber Tx is P in and the other end the fiber output power is P out. Suppose at the other end fiber, we just receive the power minus 10 dB. So the P out and P in ratio is 0.1. It means the P out is equal to 0.1 into P in. So at the output we are getting only 10% of input power. Rest of all 90% power is attenuated. So when we get at the receiver end minus 10 dB, it means it is we only getting the 1% power. Only 10% of input power. So all of the 90% power, 90 power is attenuated during the propagation of the light. Suppose in case when we get the power minus 
थर्टी एट द रिसीवर एंड वट विल द वैल्यू ऑफ पी आउट बाई पी इन सो वी गेट द पी आउट बाई पी इन इज कॉल टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन वट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स वी आर गेटिंग ओनली पॉइंट वन परसेंट of input power at the other end of the fiber and 99.9 percent power is attenuated so by this formula we can just get the pure by p in by the value of db calculation uh, so by six uh, number six formula we can get the calculation of db if we have p out by p in suppose we have the p out by p in is equal to 0.1 Point one, and we will get enter, and we will get the power in db is equal to minus ten. Number seven, the conversion of dBm to dBw. This is the relationship between dBm and dBw. So when we want to calculate the dBw and we have the value of dBm, so we can get by this relationship. Suppose I have the value of Three dBm, and we just want to get the dBw. So we will get three here and press enter. This is minus twenty-seven. We have minus twenty-seven dBw, and we just want to get the dBm value. So we'll put it minus twenty-seven here and press enter, and we'll get the dBm power is three. <laughs> Ratio p out by p in. of any optical fiber is called the gain if p out is greater than p in gain in db will be positive so 10 log 10 p out by p in will be positive ratio p out by p in is called loss if p out is less than pi so in general scenario p out is always less than the p in because during the propagation of the light light is always attenuated so p in is always greater than the p out so in this case There is a loss, and which is calculated in dB. So negative value of dB means loss, and positive value of dB is gain. Log value of more than volt will be positive, and log value of less than volt will be negative. So this is all for this log formula sheet. You can download this sheet and just use it by the below link. The link is given below. So thanks for watching.